everyone. In this video, we will see about the operation of and full view rectifier with filter and without filter. So in the previous video, we have discussed about an half view rectifier with the with filter and without filter. So generally the rectifier means which converts the corresponding alternating current into a direct current. So here in the half view rectifier, we used to get only for a positive half cycle, the diode gets forward bias and then we will get the output and then for negative off cycle it, the diode will be in the off condition so we won't get the output so the DC will, the output will be zero so whereas here in the full rectifier we have two loops where D1 and D2 so during positive off cycle the D1 will operate in the forward bias and whereas in the negative off cycle the D2 will, D2 will be in the forward bias so it produces a positive off cycle once again so let us do the simulation here. So this is the corresponding an input voltage. So the input AC voltage you can find a 230 volts. So already we have discussed about a step down. So step down means uh, we can see here it will be get changed to an um, maximum of around 72 volts so around 24 volts it has been stepped down and then uh, after passing towards your and d1 and d2 so here the d2 we can see here it is an opposite of cycle so we can see here the vn002 is d1 input voltage and then VN004 is input voltage of D2 which is completely opposite off cycle so whenever the D1 is forward bias D2 is reverse bias and whenever D1 is reverse bias D2 is forward bias so that the flow of current will be continuously flowing alternating from D1 and D2 D1 D2 keep on going so the output can be measured across the resistance load resistance So you can see here, let me maximize the screen. So here we can see here, And this is the input alternating current the first graph is input alternating current and second one is for D2 so there we can see the second graph and third plot so which is completely opposite towards the uh, cycles so which provides a maximum of 24 volts it has been stepped down and then so that the input voltage is given to the diodes so the blue one is given to D1 and red color is given to D2 so we can see that both are opposite for po opposite polarity so that Whenever D1 is forward bias, D2 is reverse bias, and whenever D2 is forward bias, D1 is reverse bias. So you can find that it is keep on producing an and positive of say rectified output. Rectified output. Suppose this this diagram is for and without filter. If I add a filter, if I add a filter capacitance in the output side, so we can see here between D1 and D2, I have added a capacitance with the resistance. So now let, let us see how the operates, how the fuller rectifier produce an uh, DC pulsating DC so let me run this circuit this input voltage D1 voltage and D2 voltage both are oppositely polarized so you can see here uh, when the D1 is forward bias D2 is reverse bias when D2 is forward bias D1 is reverse bias so and then we can see the output current which is more over pulsating DC so let me power plane so this is the input this is your D2 input and D1 input so here we can see so this one is with filter it's so without filter and this one is with filter we can see the input is 230 volts and the step down 24 volts so the red is for D2 and blue is for D1 and then here we can see the output 
So without filter, it producing and positive off cycles, rectified outputs. And with this, this is called ripples. This is called ripples. And whereas here with the capacitance, you can you can observe that it's completely producing and pulsating DC. So for to have a proper explanation, let us let me zoom it. So here you can see it is charging and discharging, charging and discharging. So this is called pulsating DC. So here by using full rectifier, we have rectified the output from AC to complete DC. So this is how we can perform the full rectifier operation by using with filter and without filter. Thank you for watching.